Hey guys, Puppet Kicker here. I got a horde going on here, but today we're going to focus on this one again. Uh, I was actually going to put this 19 and a half horse single cylinder intake brake threaten on it, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and actually put the original motor back on it, which is this box. This brake threaten. Opposed twin 20 horse pressure loop. Uh, I have the intake and stuff off of it and the uh, um, carburetor and stuff. Today, what we're going to do is try to rebuild, rebuild the fuel pump. Let me slide this in here. Let's see. So our camera gets a little bit shaky. Alrighty. I've got a rebuild kit here. Uh, rebuild kit is for, there's the number right there. Kit comes with uh, two diaphragms, the outer gasket, and the new spring and seat. But let's get into it. Alrighty, take these screws off here. You got mine's got four screws some have three screws some only have two over here and then one right here in the center right here on the edge but this one has four uh, there are differences in rebuild kits for a three and a four not only the holes there's more to a um, rebuild kit with a three hole all right let's get this off of here all right there's one of the diaphragms. We'll put this old stuff over here. Old gasket right there on there. I gotta get off. Fuel pump body. And that is why, my friends, it was not working. This spring is actually supposed to go right here. And this seat is supposed to sit here. And then this is supposed to go upon it so somebody's been into this before so let's get this off of here put this over here this over here uh, these are not replaceable you cannot replace these these little valve pumps or whatever you want to call them anyhow you cannot replace them uh, let's get this gasket off of here Hard to work in gloves. Yes, I don't know. Oh my goodness, he's got gloves on. Alright. Now then, got that out of the way. Let me pause the video. I'm going to clean this up around here real good. Get all this old stuff off of here. So the new gaskets can seat down properly. So give me just a second. Alright, right. Let's try to clean this up. Alright. Turn the way. Just set it down here. Set it down here also. Well, it's a little colder. Hold up the Alright, now the gasket will go just like this. You have to line them up. Of course. Let's go line it up. Actually, it goes on this side. I'm not sure if it's lined up right. There it is. Put that one up there. It's got a little stopper right here. A little plastic nipple you can see sticking out right there. It'll go inside of this Liberty O hole right there. Okay. Get down there. You want to take the diaphragm. We'll set it over this side. Right there. Try to line those up also. It's got a little spot there. It don't have no nipple sticking out on that, but. I'm assuming that's where that goes. Also, set this down on there. 
You want you have to get these lined up just perfect or you're going to have some problems. They're fairly easy to rebuild. I actually thought they were going to be a lot harder, but they're actually easy to rebuild. Everything's locked into place. Just get my screwdriver after I get these down here a little bit. I'll tighten this down. I like to tighten them down crisscross pattern. Me, myself, I can already see a problem. There is a space, as you can tell, right there. So I'm going to take this top back off, and I'm going to try to straighten this real quick. So bear with me just a second. Well, actually, that is all there is to it. Um, like I say, I can see why it wasn't working. It didn't have the spring or the seat in it to help, you know, pump. Um, I'm going to take this top cover back off, and I'll straighten this right here. Other than that, all I got to do is put it back on the mower, and my mower will run now. Um, I hope this helps somebody out there. Uh, I know there's plenty of how-to videos but I don't, I've not ran across one that's got the four screw one so yeah don't forget to comment rate and subscribe thank you all right guys got a little makeshift motor stand here I just drew a hole inside of my table here my workbench table I'm gonna get a little gasket right here uh, I got the old running this thing so uh, I don't have no cable for nothing to up but we're gonna try it out see if it'll start since I just broke the steel pump all right let's see what we got here I'm jumping off the battery I got over there let's see